now welcome to a car that doesn't belong to me technically even though i bought it this car that i'm sat in is an aston martin that i bought for my dad about two weeks ago now uh, i just bought it him as a present because been doing a pretty good job at trading recently here on the channel and of course that's converting some decent gains one of the best ways in my opinion that you can store wealth it's not in the bank account it's in bitcoin or it's in cars or it's in houses or it's in just any kind of assets that's not money in a bank and that comes on to the topic of xrp won their lawsuit against the sec being declared not at a security causing the entire crypto market to pump causing some significant significant gains in terms of the current trades that we've been having here on the channel so in today's video i'm going to discuss those open trades i'm going to show you what my intentions are and i actually think this stands a good chance today of getting even better than what it's already going. And if you are interested to know more about what's going on in the crypto markets today, you want to know more about everything, uh, please do drop a like on today's video. Let's try and get one like. Just one. Just one. Just one for the Aston. I mean, look at that pretty little logo down there. It says F1. It's pretty cool. That's why I bought it, because this is the safety car. Anyway, let's get one like. Let's get one comment and um, subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. If you are new here, my name is Jordan. I trade crypto on the internet all the time. Sometimes we make money, sometimes we lose money. But I won't be sat where I'm sat, uh, giving gifts away that cost 130 odd thousand pounds um, if it were not for being somewhat competent. So yeah, do drop a like, do leave a comment, and uh, let's watch today's video, shall we? I need to go back up to the office now and film it. And just like that, I'm back in the office and it's time to continue today's video. And of course, the price of Bitcoin today is doing amazingly well. $31,266, looking very, very strong. Currently bull penanting outwards. This is looking to me like we stand a good chance of a breakout later today, going into the evening, potentially around seven o'clock is generally when you expect price movement from a breakout on a Friday is generally when it happens because that's when UK markets shut their doors. US markets, they're still open at that time and they just caused this almighty boom in the crypto market so that's the time that i'm looking at more specifically around 7 p.m uk time today is when i'm looking for a breakout but the question is where is that breakout going to lead us and at what level can we confirm that breakout has happened so if we look at the price of bitcoin right now we can see pretty clearly to be honest is that level is that sim simply we failed to close above that if i mean let's go over here so i can explain a little bit better on the daily chart here and on the daily chart we failed to close the daily candle above the level of approximately $31,500. And because we couldn't close the daily candle above $31,500, we prolonged the breakout by potentially only one more day. Now, this is looking very, very strong right now. If it fails to break out tomorrow, uh, or rather tonight, it could still break out this weekend. It might just completely ignore the CME gap. Um, the actual overall reasons for it breaking out seem very, very strong right now. So overall, I do definitely favor a breakout rather than not a breakout, but it needs to close that daily candle above $31,500. Another scenario that could happen is, look, we close that $31,500 level just above it. We pump significantly to the upside and then dump down, closing the CME gap at $31,500 on Monday morning. A couple of different scenarios. It just doesn't seem that likely that we're going to see a breakdown right now. The only way that we're going to be able to measure a breakdown would be if we manage to break back below this level right here and that would have to be a break back below $30,880. We fail at $30,880. We drop back into the previous range and we drop all the way back down to $30,000. But given the serious fundamental change in the markets right now and given the way that Ethereum has been trading against Bitcoin, I mean, just look at Ethereum's Bitcoin value. It's pumping like crazy. It might only be up 0.27% today, but yesterday in just the span of, I mean, let's just measure the period of time of which it happened in the span of two hours ethereum against bitcoin rose by 4.83 percent now that is a significant significant gain um i'm it just is a sign of the market is recovering everything is looking so much nicer than what it was doing previously and if we look at the price of ethereum versus the us dollar right now on this chart you can see that if we zoom in here Again, we're t contesting this level of resistance, this level of resistance sitting somewhere around $20,023. We break $20,023, sky becomes the limit, and we jump back up into that $21,000 range. 
it all depends on what Bitcoin does. Now, Bitcoin struggled again. Oh, it's going up right now. Just like literally as I'm filming today's video. Now, Bitcoin struggled anyway against the value of Ethereum, against altcoins, against everything over the past 24-hour period. If we look at Bitcoin dominance, Bitcoin dominance over the past couple of days actually dropped back down to the moving average. Now, I don't actually think that this uptrend for Bitcoin dominance is over yet. I actually think the uptrend for Bitcoin dominance has got a little bit more room for growth. I think this is just a natural pullback. And I actually think that all coins, uh, it really depends. Um, I think now is an amazing time to accumulate all coins. I think that many of them haven't pumped yet. I and mean, I really do think this is a confirmation of a bull market happening. I just think that Bitcoin's got a little bit more to push to the upside first. However, what we might see at this point in time is that ebb and flow starting again, whereby altcoins pump, then they sell off, and Bitcoin pumps, and then Bitcoin sells off, and then altcoins pump, and you end up with like this seesaw effect of all of the prices kind of one by one taking it in turns to go up in price. Now, this is something that we've seen in previous bull markets. In fact, every single bull market I've been involved with has always started out with old coins pumping and old coins staying at zero percent for a day while bitcoin pumps and that's because old coins are getting sold back into bitcoin that i think is what's going to happen over the course of the next three or four days which is why i maintain my bitcoin long position why i don't switch over to ethereum but I have also got some coverage here on XRP and on Solana. I closed my original XRP trade for a significant profit. As you'll know, we've been trading XRP on the channel for a while. We also included it within the old coin challenge portfolio here, where we've now got $43,700 balance, up 10% or 12% overall from what we invested with our XRP trade, making a grand total of $3,200 in that particular portfolio. But in my actual own portfolio, I hold a bunch of XRP. So I, I dumped it like nearly a dollar yesterday. Bam. Fantastic. Love that pump. But now it's time to come reconsider buying in. Like ultimately you get your pump to the upside. It goes really, really ridiculously high. You drop it because that's just ridiculous. And then you wait for the drop to the downside and you buy back in. And that's why I think that we're going to see price fluctuation between Bitcoin and altcoins, then back to Bitcoin and back to altcoins. People take profit into Bitcoin, especially at the start of a bull run. You don't take profit into US dollar at the start of a bull run. You take profit into Bitcoin. So that's why I think the market stands a really good chance of having a very good run to the upside. I've got my exposure in Solana. I've got my exposure in XRP. Of course, I've got a lot of exposure to Bitcoin right now with $48,000 profit here. I also want to point out that trade that I had open uh, on the live stream the other day that was sign a loss here from being a realized loss of $46,000 is actually now in a $42,000 profit. So it kind of cancels itself out. And we have a net profit across the board right now of about $60,000, including my XRP and my other trade there on Bitcoin. So that's actually looking pretty decent i'm very pleased with how the markets are going right now again you win some you lose some but you've got to accept if you're in this game you've got to know when to take your losses and you've got to know when to hold your trade i knew the price of bitcoin would go up everything was saying the price of bitcoin would go up and so i didn't want to close the trade and realize the loss. i just sat in it waited it out it cost me a lot of money but it's back at break even now and that's good um, so overall, just need Bitcoin's price to notch up a little bit tonight and we'll be in profit. Like, given the actual size of the trade here, it's about $3.4 million. And, you know, if Bitcoin, if Bitcoin, it's 109 Bitcoin trades. So for every $100 Bitcoin goes up, I make $33,000. So I only need Bitcoin to go up to $31,300. And then I'm way more than break even, $31,400. Wow, and now again, some serious, serious numbers there. So that's how I play my trades. I'm interested in know your personal trading strategies at home. And if you're looking for more personalized trading strategies and things that you can learn, go to CryptoSavingExpert.com. If you go to CryptoSavingExpert.com, I'll just open it up on a guide here. One of the best places you can learn for free about cryptocurrency is if you go to the guide section and then type, click on trading. Learn all of this stuff. This is how you make money. This is how you learn to trade, and it's all free. You're like, there's guys on YouTube that'll charge you a thousand dollars for all the information that's in there, and you might go, "Oh yeah, but it's it's just a little guide. It's not going to tell you anything." Okay, my, my just a little guide here has got lots of information in it, lots of nice, nice laid out information that uh, is very, very in depth. Like you're not going to find this kind of thing going through someone's course because they want to put this much time and effort. And this just goes on and on and on and on and like it, and then it ends. But there's just so much information on there. Go over there, use it right now. It will honestly benefit your trading so significantly. But in today's cryptocurrency news, of course, a judge has concluded that XRP is not a security. This has caused XRP to eye one dollar after becoming the fourth largest cryptocurrency, which is fantastic, fantastic news. Significant pump to the upside in XRP. This has caused Ethereum's price to pump, and so Ethereum could now go as high as three thousand dollars before a pullback. According 
according to a particular crypto analyst. Before XRP News, popular crypto analyst Altcoin Sherpa had forecasted that Ethereum could go as high as $3,000 before a pullback. They said uh, they further shared that a chart below indicating their $3,000 prediction could happen in late September, early October, followed by the mentioned pullback below $2,000 support. I think that seems somewhat likely. I mean, I personally do expect a rally in the markets right now. It'd be surprising to see a drop down, but at the same time, look, Bitcoin's full of surprises. Like, always. If there's one thing you can count on, is Bitcoin kind of generally does the opposite of what everybody seems to think it's going to do. So just bear that in mind. Don't over trade, don't over leverage. But of course, if you are interested in trading, check out the link for Bybit in today's video description. I got confirmation today that those people that sign up on my affiliate link and trade on my affiliate link will then have eligibility for the Rolex giveaway that I'm doing. And the Rolex giveaway actually starts next week. So if you want to be entered into a free Rolex giveaway, there's two Apple Watches as well. Um, I don't know if they like these ones. Like I've got an Apple Watch here, but this one was like 700 quid or 800 quid or something. Um, but it, I, there's two Apple Watches and one Rolex that I'm giving away, courtesy of Bybit. So thank you very much for Bybit. But if you do want to be entered into that, you do need to be trading on my affiliate link and you need to generate, uh, I think it's like, a bit of volume it's not lots and lots of volume so most people like if you'd say deposit a thousand dollars or whatever and trade it 15 20 times that will definitely be enough volume to get yourself an entry and every time you get an entry you get to, like to spin this thing or something either way if you want to be entered into that you'll need to click on today's link in the video description and uh, to buy it sign up make an account also you get up to thirty thousand dollars for free when you start trading so bear that in mind as well there's also a trading tutorial link to the top of today's video uh, in the little i button if you click on that thing i know i made it two years ago but it still tells you everything you need to know about trading and everything like that um just get yourself educated because honestly it's such a good alternative source of income something nice that you can make in your spare time you can go to work place a couple of trades come home profit or lows but make sure that you don't over leverage and then you don't lose too much money and then you can keep going i've been learning poker at the moment as i explained on yesterday's live stream and poker to be honest teaches you a lot of good skills that are quite transferable in trading is what i've noticed so i've I've been learning poker quite intensely because I really fancy a shot at World Series of Poker next year. Um, and uh, I'm actually really good at it because I'm so good at holding my nerve. And that's all skills that I've learned from trading. So the skills seem pretty transferable. Um, I've been doing amazingly so far. Like I'm in a net win of some significant money so far. So that's pretty fun. Maybe I should start a poker channel. If you want to see a poker channel, let me know down below. I'd be interested to know what you, you guys' thoughts are on that. Um, but overall, yeah, crypto markets look pretty decent right now. All coin markets look pretty decent. Keep your eye out today on the main channel for a big video. And um, have a great day, everybody. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Drop a like, subscribe. Let's get one like. Let's get one comment. Like, comment, squad. Uh, and uh, ah, what should we call it, actually? TMG. I don't know. What should we call my community here on this channel? Um... I want to know what your guys' thoughts are. If you've got a suggestion, let me know. Comment section below. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.